Well, the Tampa Bay Times reports that less than half of the money collected under the now voided Hillsborough County Transportation Sales Tax will be spent on transportation projects under the new state budget. The money, which was first collected in 2019, has been untouched since 2021, when the Florida Supreme Court struck down the tax as illegal. Under the plan approved by the legislature, about $256 million of the $589 million collected would be spent on road resurfacing projects across Hillsborough County. About $171 million would pay for legal fees from the lawsuit that challenged the legality of the tax, and the rest would be distributed to individuals and others who apply by the end of the year for a tax refund. Okay, so, so Tom, I think I got a part of that wrong, but l let, me, let me ask you first, is this the right solution uh, to all that money collected for the Hillsborough transportation tax, and, and will the lawyers really get as much as I said in that setup piece? No. Uh, it, 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 look, the, is it the right solution? It is a solution. And when you subject yourself to the infinite wisdom of the legislature, you're going to get a compromise. And both parties disagreed on how this money should be spent. Ultimately, uh, there was a refund process uh, requ uh, demanded by the plaintiffs. I think that's inefficient and it's going to be regressive. But as part of getting the lawyers paid and getting this issue resolved, putting this long national nightmare, so to speak, behind us, um, it's important for the county, going back to the ballot and the CIT and what have you, to have this issue resolved. This has been going on for five years. The public will get all of the money back. Uh, except the legal fees. They will get all the money back. It, some of it will come in the form of transportation improvement, some of it will come in the form of, of a refund process, and some of it will come in a reduction of the sales tax in our community for a period of time. What would you expect the legal fees to be? I mean, out of this pile of, ca pile of cash, 600 million or so, almost 600 million, just a ballpark. Well, the, the refund process is going to complicate matters because that's going to require a lot of administration to make sure that all these applications for refund are not fraudulent and what have you. I think up until that point, we're probably looking at something in the neighborhood of 1%. Okay. All right. Patrick, what do you think of this solution? I mean, it's been years since the courts came up with their decision saying that this was an illegal tax in Hillsborough County. People have been clamoring for the money to be refunded. What do you think about this way to refund it? Well, I'm, I'm glad it's over. I think everybody's glad it's over. I don't think anybody likes this solution at all. Um, uh, it's uh, splitting the baby in ways that I don't think anybody really wanted. Um, it doesn't make anybody happy, but once again, I think everybody's happy it's over with. Um, you know, I did see in some of the reports, though, that, that you know, some said that this was a Hillsborough delegation uh, solution that they consulted. This was not a Hillsborough County solution. This was made a solution in the top chambers of, of the legislature. Nobody in Hillsborough wanted the, 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 what they wanted here. Maybe the plaintiffs wanted some of this, but on the other side, the public had really, its representatives were not involved in making this decision. Mm -hmm. Mike, what do you think of the court's decision? I mean, I think that this is kind of a slap in the face to the voters. 57% of Hillsborough County, County voters voted for a solution to transportation. Look, I just had to get one of my tires replaced last week because of a pothole. So yes, this was a multimodal plan. We know that folks out in East County want roads. We also know that folks in the city want transit. And I think that this is not an encompassing solution. And yet again, the legislature, you know, we pass stuff as, as voters and they provide an implementation bill or implementation solution that doesn't necessarily speak to the will of the voters. Mm. Jeff, uh, how about you? I mean, the, the, the court essentially said uh, it's up to the Hillsborough County Commission, not the language of this referendum, to decide how the money is spent. And I think that's the reason the court rejected mm -hmm. uh, the, the, uh, the transportation tax. Look, I think everybody at this table and everybody in the legislature is glad this issue is done. And that the, the quicker we get this done and move on and get this money spent, and we'll get better roads in, in Tampa Bay. Yeah. Tom, uh, I did not save my receipts. I live in Hillsborough right. County. I did not save my receipts while this transportation tax was being yeah, these collected. These refunds are going to be go to mostly people who have businesses and spend a lot of money in, in the sales tax during that period of time or generate a lot of money in sales tax during time. Um, you know, builders and what have you that spend a lot of money on, on products and can hit a button on their computer and print out all of the documentation. People that have to go search for their American Express or Visa receipts uh, are probably not going to apply. It's just a cost-benefit. It just doesn't make sense. Okay.